border. That means that ISIS doesn't have to actually come to the United States on those U.S. passports. All they've got to do is contact the Knights Templar, wire these guys $10 million, I mean they'll do anything for money, and say, hey, go across that open U.S. border and take out the electric grid in Arizona or New Mexico or Minnesota or New York or the entire nation. So something like that could be arranged. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen next week. And this is not a far-fetched scenario. It actually happened to our allies in the fight against terrorism. For example, in Yemen on June 9, 2014, ISIS allies in Al-Qaeda black out an entire country by knocking out power for 23 million people. For the first time in history, a terrorist attack on the electric power grid has blacked out an entire nation, in this case, Yemen. On June 9th, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, AQAP, used rocket-propelled grenade launchers and mortars to destroy transmission towers, plunging the whole of Yemen into blackout. The AQAP blackout of Yemen's electric grid has gone largely unreported. While the media's attention was focused on the brutal conquest of northern Iraq, threats to take over Baghdad, ISIS decapitation videos, hostage situations, and burning people alive, this much more destructive terrorist threat has been ignored for too long. And it's not a singular event. It happened over and over again. On January 25, 2015, Pakistan suffers a major blackout after a rebel attack, leaving 140 million people in complete darkness without any power for weeks. Radicals connected to the Taliban attacked critical transmission lines and short-circuited the national electricity grid, plunging the whole country into darkness. And there's more. In fact, there were three more attacks before that. The rebels attacked the electric grid three times since January 13, 2015. Those aren't isolated incidents. They show a pattern. Those terrorists learn the easiest way to cripple a country is destroying its power grid. And that's exactly what former Deputy Director of the CIA, Mike Morell, says. ISIS has the capacity to carry out a 9-11 style attack. And they can use Muslim fanatics who are already in the country. The consequences are beyond imagination. The Congressional Electromagnetic Pulse EMP Commission warned a nuclear Scud missile launched from a freighter could black out the U.S. for a year or more, killing up to 9 out of 10 Americans by starvation and societal collapse. What they don't say is you don't need a missile, a nuclear bomb, or a coordinated attack on nine power substations to take out our entire power grid. Building a single EMP bomb is easy and cheap and will have the same devastating effect to our power grid. According to Peter Pry, America may never recover from an EMP attack. Before telling you how easy it is to build an EMP bomb and how fragile our power grid is, let me explain what an EMP is. An EMP, or electromagnetic pulse, is an electromagnetic discharge that fries sensitive circuits within minutes, even seconds. Most modern-day appliances, the gadgets we use daily, and even the U.S. power grid all have sensitive circuits built in. Think of a normal blackout when you don't have any lights, heating, or internet. Only an EMP blackout is permanent and on a larger scale. This means you can also say goodbye to telecommunications, transportation, and even utilities like water. That's why CIA fears an EMP bomb might send us back to the Middle Ages, and they fear that it will happen this year. We would basically be sent back to the Dark Ages because we're so accustomed to have everything at our fingertips. Electricity is like the heart of the human body. When it stops pumping, everything shuts down. Your TV, laptop, fridge, your oven, cell phones, kitchen appliances, and the radio will be useless. GPS navigation, banking, and transportation, all your utilities, including gas, electricity, and water, would cease to work anymore. Power outages would be followed by nationwide blackouts, radio silence, and satellite breakdowns, leaving the world in total chaos. Imagine not having any electricity for days, weeks, months, or even years. No lights, no communication channels, no water, no refrigeration, no navigation systems, no gas pumping, no food transportation, no waste pumping, or garbage collection. No one in our country can survive something like this. During an EMP, civilization will be sent back to the Middle Ages and most people won't be able to cope. Imagine the smartphone generation forced to live like cavemen. Our power grid is America's weak spot. Before I explain how easy it is to build an EMP bomb, you'll first need to realize just how fragile our power grid is. People were panicking when the stock and bond system was downgraded to an A-. Imagine what would happen if people only knew our nation's power grid is rated a D+. The CIA knows.